Hey guys, it's me, Erica. Well, um, if you're wondering where I am, I'm in the back of my yard. That's my pool and stuff like that. I just wanted to do my video out there, out here, because I thought it was, like, nice time to do it. So, I'm going to be talking about today is, um, Bloody Mary. Um, it's, I'm not going to be talking about the drink, okay? But, I'm going to be talking about, um, the legend of saying Bloody Mary three times and she will appear. So, um, yesterday I was watching a whole bunch of Bloody Mary videos and I was afraid to say it because I didn't want anything to happen to me. Sometimes I get a little scared in some situations, you know. And so, I came to school today and I was telling my friends about that and asking them if they know about it and stuff. Ask about, like, you know, the stories. And I told them some stories and all that. And so, they, they've heard about it before, but they've never done it, you know? So, we went out to the field. Um, my field's out on, on, um, where you go and, you know, you play and all that. I bet you guys know what a field is. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, you're gonna think this is dumb, but I still did it. I don't know why. But we said, we said Bloody Mary three times. But we were on the field. It wasn't dark or anything. It was just out in the open. It was really nice and um, natural out, you know. We just said it three times just because. So we said it three times, and then I said, I said, Bloody Mary, if you are real, um, have something unusual happen to me, you know, have me fall or something like that. And then, um, I mean, you guys are going to think this is dumb, but then me and my friend were running, and we were all running together, and I tripped and fell, and I got this big, like, you can't see it right now, but this big red mark. Hold on. Like, right on here. And, um, I got that huge red mark right there. Not, it's not that huge, but it was weird because I said, like, make me fall or something, and then I did. And then I was like, I, I was like, oh my gosh, that hurt, and then I got, you know, I was scraping it off and all that. And then I was like, um, I was all, oh my gosh, and I said, I bet you Bloody Mary did that. So I got a little bit freaked out, but that's the only thing, I don't, I don't think it's proof or anything, but then... Um, then, uh, my friend, her name, uh, I can't say her name, but, um, she did Bloody Mary at her friend's house, and she said the house shook, and, um, she spun around and said it, and then, um, she felt the house shaking after that, um, I don't know if that's proof or not. She said that she might have been dizzy or something. But that's just one occurrence that happened to her. Not me. So, yeah. And so, I am I want to test out um, Bloody Mary from uh, some time. But I did it at recess in the bathroom with my friends. But I ran out right after I said the last Bloody Mary. So, you know, I didn't even see anything. So, yeah. I got too afraid to do it. I don't know why. I just didn't want anything to happen and um so like um at my friend's party we're gonna go over there and we're gonna do bloody mary so after the party i will make a video and i'll tell you if something happened or didn't happen and if she has a um a um camera that we, we can record from, I'll put it in the bathroom, and I'll show you guys what happened, you know, and so that's what I'm going to do, and so stay tuned for my next video if you want to see if Bloody Mary, Mary is true or not, so guys, that's all I have to say today, so I want to say, um, I wouldn't try uh, Bloody Mary at home unless you have a friend with you or something. So, I want to say adios amigos or um, goodbye friends or ciao. Bye.